That sounds very loud. That's pretty loud. <laughs> oh, so we're gonna have a little rev off then. That dead GT500 just looks more pissed off. Look at it. It's like ready to go. <laughs> That hurt my ears a lot. I was not ready for that. Let's get out of here. What is good, riders? Today we're back here with another video on my 2014 Shelby GT500. And boy, did it do great so far. We're almost at 10,000 miles on the fully built motor. Abuse after abuse. And finally, we have its first concerning noise, a little lifter tick, which hopefully isn't too bad. Hopefully it's just a hydraulic lifter that needs to be swapped out. They're easy to swap out. It's just so tedious, especially if the motor is in the car. So with big power comes big responsibility. Building cars, especially at this caliber with 1200 horsepower this motor has, there's always gonna be things that are acting up here. So my buddy Joe, which just came back from a deployment, like 11 month deployment, it was so long. He's gonna come over, we're gonna work together to swap out these lash adjusters. It is a two person job, or at least makes life a little bit easier if you have two people. And then we'll get back on the road, and if we have time, we'll do some rips. If not, maybe just do an oil change and call it a day. But definitely, we need to get this engine fixed and put her back on the road. Other than that, Molly's been doing awesome. She's been doing really, really good. And that's how you take off the valve covers to check to see if there's anything going on. Now that we got those guys out, time to swap out those lash adjusters. I need to see if this is a very easy one. Nice. Because <laughs> I had the leverage right here, I was like, that's gonna be an easy one. Nice. Yeah, so, all done. Now all done. All right, ladies and gents, we swapped out all eight of them. You can see them right here. Joe did an awesome job. Shout out Joe for always coming in clutch. He, uh, like, I, I can't tell you guys, this is a job you normally do when the engine is out. We did it with the strut tower brace, the fuse box, simply with just some pry bars and stuff like that. Time to close her up and uh, get back on the road. We'll fire up very shortly. miles it is crazy to see how far this car has come from racing 1000 horsepower hellcats to 1000 horsepower camaros supercars and much much more today we're going to be doing an update video on the 10,000 mile mark on my car tell you guys where she stands what she has been through and then we're going to continue to the second part of the video playing around with this lamborghini so 10,000 miles where do we even start we went from modifying this shelby gt500 to a shelby 1000 super snake variant honestly this build is everywhere and has a little bit of everything so starting off with the motor it has been doing nothing but good great power great results with minor minor difficulties here as you guys saw in the beginning of the video we had our first concern which wasn't even a big one as you guys have saw we swapped out those lash adjusters very very easily and got back on the road asap besides that really nothing else has been done with this motor. literally the only other things that have been done is the main maintenance of the oil change every about three to five thousand miles but besides that the motor has been going good surprisingly the transmission the tr6060 is doing splendid as well also the only other thing that needed some type of maintenance was the mcleod clutch which was obvious that i had to swap out the clutch for a higher one which is the mcleod rxt 1200 i currently have the rxt 1000 the rxt 1000 only held 1000 crank horsepower when i was making 1000 crank 
before and uh so i toasted that clutch and then upgraded to the rxc 1200 but besides that the car has been doing wonderful it is my daily driver and i drive it every day now let's go ahead and talk about the regrets so any regrets that i have on this car not really to be completely honest this is exactly how i envisioned my car if i was to be nitpicking here i would say that the rear wheel setup could be slightly better for the drag setup i do currently have the weld racing wheels with the mickey thompson 305s i just wish i can get a bigger fatter drag tire in the back and swap on some 355s or larger wheel in the rear i just think that that would be so so good seeing that meaty setup but but besides that the only other thing that i can possibly think of is maybe a shelby 1000 hood but those are discontinued and i'm super rare to find super snake hood would be the next up but again i'm not entirely sure if i want to go down that route we'll see i'll continue to keep you guys updated throughout the build can't really say much on this besides that we hit 10,000 miles now that we have that let's go back to orange county and play around with the lamborghini shooting guys we have the beautiful one and only Corlay standing next to the amazing cars over there the wizard doing his thing I like to call Will the wizard because he is magical with the camera and he does things that I've never seen done ever before um, just makes these things look so good all right we got some guests what's up man what's your name Thomas. Thomas are you a car guy yeah what's your favorite car a Lamborghini well you're in luck because we have one right here what's your name Jesus. Jesus. Will, nice to meet you, dude. Welcome to the vlog. Are you a car guy, too? What's your favorite car? A Lamborghini. Man, you guys really lucked out today. Have you ever seen one of these before in person? No. no it's your first time? Do you want to take a picture next to it? Got Nate in the house on Will's vlog. What up, what up? Lambos and Ferraris. Right. What, what car would you take? Lambo all day. Lambo all, all day. day. Okay. You guys drop your comments. Let me know. You taking the full forged carbon Huracan or the gorgeous all black F12? That's a hard decision, but I think I'd probably go F12. I don't know. What's your decision? Uh, I have a McLaren at home, so okay. fuck both those cars. Okay. Okay. I got you. Yeah. So not even an option. Not even a comparison. The McLaren's way better. Faster. Way faster. That's all that matters too is speed. All right. <laughs> You want to do like a, a red thing or yes, something? Yes, I want to review this exhaust system and I want to get feedback from the people. So people, give us some feedback on how this Voodoo Auto Design Huracan sounds. I feel like uh, they're known for the exhaust. Okay, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. That sounds very loud. That's pretty loud. <laughs> oh, so we're going to have a little rev off then. I think that's what's happening, right? Yes. <laughs> Who's gonna be louder, Daddy Nick? You think it's gonna be you? I have no idea. We'll see. I don't think you've that's heard. That's an exhaust, bro. Can. You what? haven't heard that Voodoo Design exhaust, man. They're no joke. I know. We'll see. Parlay, what's your money on? Lambo or GT500 for? Louder? Yeah. Probably the Lambo. The Lambo? She's going with the center exit. That, that GT500 just looks more pissed off. Look at it. It's like ready to go. Hurricane's up first. Call the police. That hurt my ears a lot. It smells great. Yeah, I was not ready for that. Let's get out of here. And that is the current update on Miley. Comment down below. What do you think is next? Give me a recommendation, video ideas, what you want to see here with Miley as it currently rains down on me. But thank you guys so much for the support. I would not be here without you guys. So stay tuned for more content here with Miley as well as Beverly, the Coyote Swap Classic. See you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe and like down below. Deuces. One of our neighbors across the street right there left a note on our door last night saying that the car's too loud, it wakes up her baby. So if we start it again in the morning, she's gonna call the cops on us. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna start it at 7 a.m. in the morning, so.
Good morning.